So Mr. Politician, you're not welcome around. Guys against my people, you shall stumble and drown. Violate my people and treat them like clown. Hey, remember that you cross the first town. Hey, so call leaders. So call leaders. Alright, off the truck then. I said you're dismissed. So call leaders. Greetings and good afternoon, the educated. Welcome to a glorious day in Wales. I am in, um, well, basically I've come to Barry Island for the beach for the day. And um, basically I checked online to see where the nearest police station was and it was only about a couple of miles away. So I dropped the missus and the kids at the beach and uh, made my excuses. And uh, here I am. So, I know you haven't heard from me for a long time. It's been over a month. I did post a video the other day, but that was, in honesty, a video I recorded a little while ago. I just um, didn't upload it. I don't really know why. Sorry about a little bit of wind noise, if there is any. Um, so anyway, I think this building just in front of me, you see a little blue over there, is Barry Police Station, so we'll be there shortly. Um, but first, I guess you want an update about the um, CPN appeal. So I went to court um, on the 16th of this month, 16th of May. Today is the 20, 28th. So yeah, sorry about leaving it so long to update you. Um, I wish, to be honest with you, that I could um, tell you some of the stuff that happened. But I can't because, <laughs> because it's really funny and... Uh, we, and we obviously haven't gone to the actual appeal hearing yet. And uh, like based on the evidence that they provided, I know that they watch my channel. So, hello, Kelly. Hope you're well. <laughs> That's Kelly Parsons. She's the antisocial behaviour coordinator at Haven and Somerset Police, who seems to, um, seems to enjoy watching my videos. But, um, yeah, basically, we're going to... The CPN appeal hearing, which is going to be on the 5th of September, which incidentally is after my CPN expires, it expires on the 23rd of August. So, I'm not really sure what's going to happen there in terms of because I assume the police are going to ask for it to be extended, but I'm not really sure, given the fact that there is minimal case law, I'm not really sure whether the courts can extend something that, that isn't active. So, we'll be I'd be interested to see what happens there. Um, I don't know. We'll see, I guess. I'll tell you something about these. They're all so clean, these police cars, apart from this right van here. But the rest of them are gleaming in the sunshine. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, so the CPN appeal hearing is going to be on the 5th of September, which is after my CPN runs out. But... I'm not really sure what's going to happen there. I really don't, but like I say, I expect that they will try and uh, ask for it to be extended. But <laughs> I genuinely wish I could really, I could tell you some of the stuff that's been said in terms of um, some of the uh, statements that have been submitted. One of them in particular is is really quite funny. So funny, in fact, when I pointed out in the case management hearing, when I pointed out the particular thing that I find amusing. The uh, police's, uh, sorry, the Crown Prosecution, the guy who's who's trying to uh, prosecute me, or the, you know what I mean, the police solicitor, he um, he actually put his hand on his head and shook his head like he couldn't actually believe what was said in it. So that was, um, it's going to be interesting to see, well, it's not much down here, it's going to be interesting to see what they say about that come trial one thing I can tell you is um, the police uh, attempted to um, basically they didn't want to call the witnesses they submitted a hearsay notice um, basically which means that the court would just go by what is written in the statements as opposed to having the statement writers come to court to give evidence so I appealed against that and the judge ruled that the witnesses do have to come and give evidence which is um, well, I, I, to be honest with you, I'm not sure that they'll turn up. I mean, the CPS only had the uh, 
availability for um, Kelly Parsons and they didn't have any of the availability for um, for the other witnesses which is quite telling if you ask me they fully I don't believe for a second they expected the judge to rule that um, that the witnesses should come which is quite funny <laughs> really when you think about it but anyway yeah that's kind of where we stand with that I'm not sure there was oh yeah the um, the incident with um, Jenkins Mark Jenkins the police officer who um, who handcuffed me that is uh, at the moment my solicitor is reviewing the evidence which was ordered by the judge they were or the police were ordered to give disclosure because they didn't respond those of you that know the processes will know what I'm on about but basically yeah, it is a pretty time-consuming um, process and uh, essentially what happens is the, the your solicitor will um, look at that rubbish on the floor they always throw their gloves on the floor your solicitor will um, basically write to the police and ask them what happened, ask them for their side of the story. Um, inevitably, they never respond or rarely respond, uh, at which case, at which point your solicitor would then give them a little bit more time in order to, to, to respond. Again, they rarely do. And then at that point, um, your solicitor will appeal to the court or apply to the courts for a full disclosure. And then obviously they have to disclose during that period because the court has ordered it. Um, so my solicitor has received the package. I guess it's called a package. She has received the documentation from the police. And now we're just awaiting... Um, well, she's going to go through it and then she's going to contact me and let me know what's, what's, where we're going to go from there. So, I, want to try, I don't know if there's a back entrance to this police station. Let's go around and have a look. Because this is obviously the front. I want to find... I mean, it looks like obviously this is where the police are dispatched from. It doesn't look so much like there is like a back entrance, back entrance per se. But... We'll go around and have a look. At least it looks like a cell from the inside. Well, that's what they look like from the inside. Those of you who have been in one. Yeah, Kelly's going to have a fit now. Oh, you can see the police private vehicle registration numbers. Who cares about the police registration numbers? For all I know, they could be a CID car. It always cracks me up when she says that, or when police say that. Ah, oh, vehicle registrations, blah, blah, blah. Like, how the hell would you know that it was a police vehicle, or it was a private vehicle, unless they came out and told you? Like, you're just, you're just not going to know. You just wouldn't know. So they come out and tell you and then start complaining about it, which is mad. Hello. So I think that's funny, don't you? Hey? Nah, mate, no. Where am I from? Where are you from? <laughs> I know, silly questions, right? <laughs> I was just having a look around, making a video. Sorry, do you mind leaving, please? For what reason? This is police property. Yeah, but isn't that public there? I'll I'm going to leave when I finish, of course. I'm not just going to stick around when I haven't got anything to do. That would be silly. Is there a custody suite here? No, there's not. There's not, no? Uh, so, oh, you heard it there, no custody suite. What are all these, all these garages then? Police vehicles or private? Oh, you don't know which car is yours? <laughs> She's, uh, she's pressing the button. She's up there by the car. She didn't want to go to her car, I expect. Which I think is hilarious, because nobody cares. Strange that she's bringing a young child out there. More well, like early teenager, potentially. Now she's on her radio.
no parking, unauthorised vehicles. Are you reporting me? Are you reporting me, ma'am? Yeah, I think she's reporting me for something, but I guess we'll see. Oh, look, intimidation tactics. They ain't all of you just to come and talk to me, is it? I thought you guys were all coming to talk to me for a second, eh? Oh, good stuff. How's, you, how's everything anyway? Yeah, it's, 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 it's lovely, isn't it? I think I'm going to go to the beach for a bit. Is it? I've not been there before. No, no not to Barry Island Beach, no. No, it's lovely. Is it? Yeah. I'm going to take a look. Have a nice day, gents. This guy seemed, they actually seemed all right. I thought they was coming out to talk to me for a second. There was like four or five of them and I thought, God, look at this. A little bit, tried a little bit of intimidation. It's only that bird who doesn't like it. But those guys were all right. Not what I expected, considering what I was told by the locals around here. Because those guys were just like, oh no, everybody, blah, blah, blah. Look, she's down there having a moan. She didn't like it. Unlucky he got told he's not doing anything wrong. Unlucky. Yeah, they seemed a lot nicer than I expected them. They're all, look, there's loads of them off out now, look. There must be something serious going on. Mind you, no blues and twos. I don't know when my uh, video stopped recording, but there's a little notification in the top of my screen that says limit uh, file size limit exceeded. So that'll be what that was. Anyway, from um, that little interaction there, it's clear that these guys are okay with me being here, which is cool. I suspect it would be different if I was up there with a drone or if I went back in, but. I'm not going to antagonise by going back in. That Karen had a little bit of a moan, but then she spoke to them officers and they were cool with me, so there's really no need for me to be here anymore. So, as I said to that copper, I've not actually been to the beach yet, but I'm going to go now. So that was Barry Police Station. I mean, I'm not going to show you that all that whole video, obviously, because you don't you don't want to listen to me chatting absolute waffles the whole time. So what we're going to do is we're going to leave, we're going to call it a day there, and we're going to um, going to go to the beach and enjoy some sunshine. So, oh, it's had a spider on me then. So, um, you know, as always, peace.